Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I wanted to do a little highlight, a little spotlight on the uh, Clarice. Um, I think they're great, you know, roller mats in general. Um, you know, you don't have the socks that you got to clean constantly because in reality, you know, you should be, you know, cleaning, changing out your socks, you know, every two, three days uh, to keep from having, you know, detritus and food and fish poop break down. Uh, and contaminate your tank from sitting inside of those socks. So, you know, a roller mat's just going to pull it out, you know, a lot faster. And uh, I'm just going to show you this roller mat for a second, and then we'll check out the tank. Um, but I had to turn the flow down quite a bit on my return pumps um, coming through this Clara seat. Now, I could have opened, there's a little valve, kind of a little trap door down there that you can open to let some of the water come out. But then you're letting a lot of that particulate and the food and all that stuff, you know, come out and relying on your skimmer, you know, to pick it up or it coming through again after it went through the return pump. So I've got my return pumps turned way down, not a lot of flow going through this because I was having uh, the mat just, you know, be used so fast. And, you know, these mats are like $30 a piece. Um, so, you know, to save, you know, the money and have it work more effectively, I mean, the, the dirty mat is a lot darker than it was before. I think just the flow was causing that float valve to go up too easily. So, you know, it seems to be working great now. Um, there's the skimmer I just cleaned. You can see giant ball of chato now. Hopefully it's taking the nutrients down. You know, it's the size of a basketball in there. I got two lights, two of these tons of lights um, shining on it. Um, I'd like to get another one of these Tunzi. It's a 8831 with that purple light, uh, but they're out of stock everywhere. As far as the tank goes, um, it's doing okay. I kind of let my nutrients get a little high on me. Um, you know, nitrates are above 25. I think phosphates are above. 0.3 right now, so I'm pretty sure that's what was causing some of the burnt tips and corals. I've lost a couple corals. Um, you can see, you know, some of them are losing tissue. Hopefully, that chato is sucking up some of those nutrients, nitrate and phosphate, and uh, hopefully get those down to zero and, and continue feeding really heavy. Um, I've kind of cut back on the feeding a little bit. I mean, all these fish are fat and doing really good. Um, you know, nine tangs in here. They just pick away at the algae on the rock all day. And you can see, you know, there is like a film of some kind of algae on there. Who knows what it would look like if I didn't have nine tangs in here chewing away at it all day. Um, but I got some new corals. I got a, a nice frag pack of some, you know, named corals, semi high end stuff. I added a T5 uh, to the setup. So I got, you know, six uh, AI Hydra 52s. And I'm going to add another two light T5 fixture. They're 60 inches. 80 watts per bulb um, just to get my par up. I got a par meter and found out the par was a little on the low side, you know, around 200 at the top of the rocks where I want to have it, you know, 250 to 350, you know, ideally um, everywhere in the tank, you know, to grow SPS successfully. Um, I got about 20 new frags in here. Maybe that'll help eat some of these nutrients. You can see the ones I've recently glued with that fresh white super glue. And some some of these corals are taking the high nutrients in stride. I mean, they're you know some of them haven't missed a beat. A couple of them I've lost, and a couple have lost some tissue. But for the most part. Stuff was doing okay. If you could see it, that's a 
Jason Fox Fox Flame. I think it's a Pearlberry next to it. We got some Walt Disney. R.I.P. Mike Bigger. That's how you pronounce his name. I got to meet him a couple times. Go to his house. He's the one who kind of started Walt Disney. Uh, I think that's uh, ASD Rainbow over there. So. Tank's doing all right. Just really counting on that, that Chato, Kato, however you say it, to uh, you know, really start absorb, absorbing from some nutrients and really drop them down. Even some of the coralline algae has gotten covered up by this green algae. I thought it was hard for algae to grow on coralline. I had such a good amount of it going in here. This is one of those corals that has just been doing great, getting bigger, looking good. Looking down the tank, one of the really cool things about having a seven foot long tank, you know, just looking long ways down it, watching these big tanks cruise around, having a bunch of room, stretch their legs. You can see they know who feeds them, they all come to this side of the tank when I'm over here. Big powder blue tang. That hippo tang's like inch thick. Definitely healthy. We got some forest fire digitata there. A little setosa. We got some UC dipping dots over there kind of hard to see you can see some burnt tips on I think this is a granulosa a little bit of a plain Jane but hopefully it comes back it's a fast grower that's just a skeleton of a of a coral I got from a buddy that I thought maybe I could save it was RTNing, figured give it a shot. There's some Garf Bonsai there in the middle. Kind of an old school coral. Little white spot on the side of that hippo tang. Kind of makes me nervous. Don't know what it is. show you this baller shado down here kind of hard to see with the coralline and all the feather dusters and stuff but I mean it's gotten really big over the past week so hopefully it's doing work and yeah guys that's pretty much it. I appreciate those, you know, the few people. I think we got 20 subscribers. Gotten, I don't know, 300 something views. Hopefully we can keep it up. Just share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Anyway, guys, that's it for tonight. Hopefully you liked the video. Take care.